Hey, it's Nootsie, and today I have a little soundbite snippet for you from a conversation that I had with Brent Bruning, and he is a master hand analyst, and I have a longer video that I've posted, but I wanted to give you just a little soundbite so you could kind of see what we talked about. And, you know, what I really care about is providing things for people that really do make a difference. And that's why I'm going to include my testimony from my time that I spent with him because it really did help me shift in some areas. So let's get right in to the video soundbite with Brent Bruni. So oh, see it with my eyes. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. Well, I think the the genius part of what you do is how you work with people. And I want to talk about that because I, I, my wish for anybody who is watching is that they would invest in themselves and spend some time with you. You really are the, one of the most gracious people I have ever met in my entire life. The mm -hmm. amount of time that we spent together and, you know, just the way that you, you're, your pinpoint laser focus and your ability to listen was such a gift in my life. So let's talk about what you do in the process, because I think <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know anybody who couldn't benefit from it. So, well, what do you, what would you say? Let's maybe start with, um, you know, some problems. What, what would you say is some of the, the common problems you find uh, in your circle of people and your listeners that they've asked you for coaching and, and maybe we can go from there. Um, primarily is like they, you know, the people that reach out to me and that I work with are always in transition. They feel like they're wearing <clears throat> one set of clothes when they really desire to be wearing a different set of clothes and they don't know how to, to make that change. You know, they know that there's a deeper meaning to life. I'm all about trans transformation. So people who are attracted to me are also in the process of transforming. Mm. Yeah. And transforming into what? A life that they love and live it powerfully, passionate. What do you, you, do you think that, where do they want to go? I think, I think people don't even really know where they want to go. And I think that's mm. what was so valuable about my time that I spent with you. Cause I had an idea, but you know, the validation that you provided for me about, you know, this is the pattern, this is what you're drawn to, this is what your hands say. So I think it's, you know, I think a lot of times it's people want to transform because they're not happy being a caterpillar, but they don't know what kind of butterfly they want to be. They don't really know for sure, you know, how they are supposed to take flight. Yeah. So if we go back to that example of the four different hand shapes, right? So you remember the farmer's hand and Snoop Dogg's hand, right? But if you go down that rabbit hole, there are in fact 120 different hand shape combinations grouped into uh, 16 different tribes and so forth, right? And you get infinite, you know, kaleidoscope of, of other combinations within that, all right? which is on my computer, I, that's what I did. Like, let's get everyone with those, those hands, with a Dalmatian hands with like a heart line like that. Another one with a straight heart line. So the <laughs> advantage of doing that, the, 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 the biggest takeaway is a validation that these people have said with that biological co combination that they're happy. And it's our experience that when we recommend people who have that similar combination and we identify, hmm, it seems like you're really good in, in working as a counselor, or hmm, it seems like you're really good uh, at writing um, writing lyrics, Eminem, and what are you doing in IT, right? So, you know, when you, when you see those, um, how mismatched people are, that's a condition of being society, uh, you know, having to accept society norms, society norms. But who you are as a person is, is a dream, a dream to fulfill. And that is combined by taking the hand shape that you saw, let's take the farmer's hand, but with a farmer's hand with a, uh, a whirl on the right ring finger, it's obvious you need to be building something that's creative, right? This is the creative zone. Take a different, let's take Snoop Dogg's hand, then let's rap about something creative. So the strategy to get to creativity is different by the person personality. So 
And that's really helpful to know where, where you're in your zone, right? Now, a lot of people right now are substance abusers of some sort to dependent on something else in order to feel good. And it's for a reason. They're out of their element. They're in a problem that isn't meant for them. They shouldn't be in that life. And so they're drugging themselves, alcohol, even with coffee, right? I got to get myself stimulated in order to get through this life because it's meaningless. So the zone that I can take you by looking at the architecture of your blueprint will give you an unlimited supply of energy, unlimited, that's fighting words. Okay, I'm gonna give you seven and a half hours of sleep. The rest of the time you're on, it's your time. Now, how do I get you there? It's not just by you know making you eat better. You see these people in the before after, I didn't say go eat better. They, they, they shifted something. Hmm. So how that's done is when you, when you acknowledge somebody piece by piece by piece, this is how you are. You're, you're, you're emotionally very caring. You are really the center of attention. Hmm. Let's combine that. What would that be that somebody is the host? Okay. Then uh, you have an artist life purpose. Oh, you're really meant for a stage, right? And piece by piece by piece, you're getting to tighter zone. As you go in and combine every vote of your hand, every feature, and it's voting saying, I want this life, I want this life, specifically, not, not the one that just, just right, and it's got to be on stage, and I got to do backdrops for the stage, not be on stage, you got to do backdrops. When you get to that level, because that's what the hand wants, just that then you can see exactly that the family even has that trait. They have a lot of evidence in their past that they've done it. And then they just go, what? I, I know, I know, I want to do it. I know. Well, why don't you do it? Try it out. Try it part time and just see how it feels. You're going to find that that's so fulfilling. You're alive. And in that aliveness, all the serotonin and dopamine and DMT, all that fulfillment is going to come back to you loads and you're going to get younger, which is a crazy talk that when you go to get your hands red, you're going to go get younger. Hmm. How's that possible? Because when you're out of your element, that's very stressful. And when you don't know what you want, that's very stressful. Hmm. When you're in the wrong relationship, either to the job or your own relationship, that's extremely stressful. And Stress is, is not just a one event, it's the accumulation of stress over days, months, years in the same problem, waking it up, waking up so it's a compression on your entire nervous system that causes you to try to hold on through this pain as it shows up in your hand and you end up getting these sideways lines and the finger starts to bend and, you're, and you end up getting discoloration and it's not even something that you'd like to do anyway and you're just fed up. Yeah, yeah. What do you think that's going to do? You're producing that chemistry. You know, you're a walking chemistry, you're an alchemical yeah. factory. And when you're living that kind of life, I can attest, you know, you just have corrosive hormones flowing through your body and you end up having to self medicate because you're so miserable. So, whether it be alcohol or caffeine or social media or exercise or whatever it is, you have to dumb down because you're in such pain because you hate your life. That is so miserable. Yeah. And you know, you're getting a payoff too, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Well, so, I wanted to, I want to yeah. talk about, you know, cause when I first came in contact with you, I, when I first watched the video and then I went on your website, which is people really need to go because it's beautifully done and you have some great Thank testimonials you. on there, but um, I, I was trying to figure out, you know, exactly how it works because I have a need to know before I get involved in something. So let's talk about the nuts and bolts of it because um, I, I just hope everybody does it. You bet. Okay. First, there's a trust factor. Before we even talk about this, you have to believe that this is so. Okay. 
because nothing I'm going to do to convince you is going to make an ounce of difference unless you're willing to take the leap of faith by seeing it for yourself. Look on the site. And there, I'll show you a zoomed in version. You're going to see something like, uh, you know, these guys, right? And now this person was exercising the same as this person, right? So was she, all right? So was she. But what's different is that they shifted. I brought them into the zone, the sweet spot, in a matter of hours, hours, all right? This guy was suicidal. Mm. He, and he had two gorgeous kids, but he just couldn't hack his life. Now look at him. He's beautiful. So the transformation that you see here is real. It's not something for you to believe. Hmm? And it is it is a only four hours that get them to from here to here. You would think talking for four hours is exhausting. But in fact, this transformation that you see here is using language to acknowledge your nervous system like therapy. But the difference between therapy and what I'm doing is I'm giving you a walkthrough of your nervous system step by step and consciously opening it up through language step by step until you're open and you're ready for business. Right. Well, can, so I how does that work? You, I can tell you that there is no amount of therapy that a person could do because I've done a fair amount of therapy that compares to the four hours that you and I spent together there. I mean, well, I'll let you get into it, but I can attest I've done therapy on and off my entire life. And the four hours that you and I spent together shifted me farther than any other thing I've probably done in my life when it comes to that. Yeah, and, and uh, maybe in your own words, how would you describe the difference between therapy and getting your hand analyzed? Th therapy is just like concepts about, you know, how, how do you get from point A to B? But when we sat down and we went over, you know, my hand and then we did the timeline, that timeline was the most revelatory thing I think I've ever done because, you know, you have this ability to just listen and then you're typing. And then, you know, we go through the whole timeline and you picked out patterns, for example, um, cause you, you start with the, our family of origin and, um, I didn't realize it, but my mom's hometown, Mannheim was the, you told me I'd forgotten that it was the most bombed out city in Europe. And so I have this refugee thing that is a familial pattern. And when you pointed it out to me and we carried that thread along with so many other things, I was like, oh, dear Jesus, I would have, I could have never seen that, nor could have a counselor ever seen that because we, we didn't have the timeline of pictures of, of my, my family. And when you would question me about, you know, the, the images that I brought up, things came out that I didn't even really know that I knew and stories that I had forgotten, yeah. you know, and, and you, you put it down in this beautiful way that there is no way 20 years of counseling could have accomplished what we did in four hours. So what were you, what you're talking about is, um, so just to, to summarize the process is that the hand analysis is the first step to give you the language to go and shift your life. Okay. So the, the, the analysis shows you what is it that your biggest strength is, what are your talents? What is your power, right? Where's your, where's your green zone or blue zone? And what is it that you also, uh, avoid, you know, what do you, you not only um, avoid, but what do you, how do you act when you're avo in avoidance, right? And that shows up in your nervous system. What are the areas? What's the trigger? And then, and intellectually, you know, what would it mean to break through that? And how would we as 
partners working together break through a pattern where you might have suffered in that area more than you've been expressing your power. And from that zone, um, you're left with, after two hours, your head is full with more information about what, how and all the emotions and everything are starting to come up. Now, why I would say this is different than therapy is therapy is focusing on a specific problem and looking at the network and the agreements that you have around a specific problem. I'm seeing the whole picture and in that picture is a problem among a whole bunch of others. Now, trauma exists in a network as well as it's nested with all the things that make you great. Hmm. So when you can see that, you know, you can't just rip it out because it's all part of who you are. It's all your system. It's getting a payoff there. So we need to be able to understand the entire system and be able to look at where it would it look like if you didn't have it and how much you have in, been in that suffering. Now, consciousness has a way of transforming things. Just speaking or as the the word the statement name it to tame it right mm -hmm. i'm angry or i'm guilty or uh, whatever that is your language is naming the emotion that would otherwise be overwhelming well what happens if we name all the emotions in the exact level that it needs and you can then be able to have consciousness over your entire nervous system hmm, that's crazy Hi, my name's Nutsi, and I recently finished the hand analysis and the shift with Brent Bruning. And I had never really heard of any such thing as a hand analysis, but I was bumping around on YouTube one day and I came across a video where he was talking with someone. And what really like kind of pricked my interest was um, they were talking about transformation and how they had all this data and it seemed somewhat scientifically based to me. So I watched the video and because I started a YouTube channel of my own a little over a year ago and it came out of this transformational experience and I really felt like I, you know, came out of the ashes and the fire. Um, what he was talking about on this video was how, you know, we can identify these roots and patterns in our life and how we can begin to know ourselves better. And so I, um, after the video, I got on the website and was listening to all the testimonials and I listened to all the interviews I could find on YouTube, you know, where Brent was talking. And so I decided I was going to take the quiz and then book an appointment, but I was really, really nervous about doing it, um, primarily because I had come out of a really bad illness and during that illness I had all these rashes where my fingerprints had disappeared. And I've always been a little bit embarrassed of my hands because of the amount of lines on them and then especially now, um, you know, I was noted as having a biometric anomaly with no fingerprints. I was just wondering if it would even work. And, so anyway, I went ahead and booked the appointment and um, you know let Brent know that I had there were some issues with my fingerprints. And when I was taking the photos um, to send to him, I really was jittery because I was just like, oh no, you know, I don't like my hands and you know, shadow work, what is he gonna say? And so we do the the hand analysis appointment together, and he spent over two hours with me, and it was really uncanny. I just kind of felt like he had to be some silent observer of my life because he nailed me right on the head. And even with the shadow part, I'm always a little bit trepidatious when people use that word. But, you know, he did it in such a way that it gave me a tremendous amount of compassion and understanding for the patterns that I was born into and that, you know, gave me hope that I didn't have to be a victim of those things, but I could be the hero in my own journey. So um, after we got done, I scheduled my next appointment with, the, uh, with Brent for the shift and I was super excited to do it. And even before we had our meeting, which was over four hours long, which it seemed like about an hour long, 
I, I noticed that I was beginning to have this shift by the things that he asked me to do. So we have our appointment and literally the time went by so fast, but I sent an email to him sometime after it. And, you know, I, I've done a lot of different things in my life for transformation and for healing. And I don't think I've ever done anything quite like this that has led to so much understanding of who I am on a soul level and what my life's purpose is. He really articulated it better than I have ever been able to articulate it. And so there was a tremendous amount of healing that took place and I don't think you could attain the self-discovery in four hours with years and years and years of counseling. So combined with the process that he takes you through and his understanding of your hand and what it means and what the archetype is of that, you know, I, I, I was able to step into my own power Instead of being a victim of my circumstance and my, pa my uh, patterns in life, I feel like, you know, I am owning who I am as a person and I can be my own hero in my own journey. And one of the things that he talked about in the hand analysis, which, you know, was so freeing, he talked about how flat my thumb is and that for some reason it always embarrassed me. My thumb, the flatness of my thumb and the lines on my hands were embarrassing to me. But you know what he was showing me as a result of that's the thumb that I chose to come in with, you know, I, it's because I'm working, you know, with the divine or on a divine level. And it just like, I, you know, it just was like confirmation of what my soul longs for and desires and wants to function under, you know, is here in my thumb. And what I felt embarrassed of you know, was, was transmuted into something really beautiful for me. So if you're thinking about doing the hand analysis and the shift, I would highly recommend it because I'm a raving fan at this point because the amount of time that he took and was just a witness to my life and helped me build a platform of understanding of you know, what my life patterns are, and where I need to go. And, you know, it just seems like he had to have been a fly on the wall in my, of my entire life, which is an amazing, amazing gift to give someone. So if you're thinking about it, I would highly recommend it because I am truly, truly a raving fan.